in the middle of nowhere. As you can see, we have another 10th gen here. This is Dusty's 10th gen, by the way. And uh, Aaron here, out here shooting some pictures with his massive rig. You can follow Aaron on Instagram. Uh, I'll put his Instagram on the bottom of the screen here. Dusty's truck is completely stock. Uh, he does a, a muffler delete. Yeah, that's it. Uh, and it is a 5.4. Yep. Uh, and do you know what rear end you have? I looked. It's three, 355? I think it's 355. Okay, yeah. I don't remember. That's pretty pretty common. That's what I have. Yep. The 355 rear end. He's got me one upped on the Gramps pap cap on the back. <laughs> but uh, I might... I love it. <laughs> I might have to look into getting me one of those. That might complete the look. So anyway, if you are new to the channel, this is my 2003 F-150 5.4. Um, it does have a 76 millimeter turbo under the hood, which we installed in my garage. And I'll open the hood for you guys to see that in just a second. But I figured today's video would be fun. We could get my truck next to a stock truck. See the power difference? Because when I shoot video with me by myself using a GoPro, it's a little bit difficult to get kind of a perspective of how much faster the truck is other than using numbers. I thought it'd be fun to get a couple trucks side by side. Be sure to take a second to hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and I hope you enjoyed today's video. This is what my truck used to look like. Uh, I still have all these parts sitting in my garage. Look at all this room over here. Can't believe it. So and then this is what my truck looks like now. So this is a kit from CX Racing, uh, made for a 4.6. Customized the crossover and quite a few other things to make it fit my 5.4. But it's a 76 millimeter turbo, 0.81 AR on the hot side. Uh, we did squeeze it through here somehow. The trans dipstick still right there. The oil fill cap is still under the downpipe there. I can't take it off anymore. So there it is. I uh, still have a few things to wrap up on it. Sorry about if there's wind noise. I do have a ski glove just sitting under my air filter here to keep it from rubbing on stuff until I get a bracket made for the intake. 60 pound injectors, Dietchworks 60 pound injectors. Custom tuned by Casey Whitmer here locally. 407 to the wheels, uh, 523 foot pounds of torque on the dyno at 8.8 .8 PSI. We're currently at 10 PSI now, so I would estimate that puts us roughly somewhere around 430 to the wheels. So here's Gramps, completely stock looking, and uh, down to the stock muffler and everything. I do have a boost actuated cutout in the fender here that opens up around 5 psi but yeah that's gramps here's dusty's truck one of my favorite colors on the 10th gen is this dark gray color pap cap and all really good looking truck i i'm really partial to the super cruise so i think i mentioned earlier all just a muffler delete uh but completely stock i think you said what 130,000 miles uh, 157 157 157,000 miles so he's got a a few more miles than me. I have 109,000, but still really quite low miles, miles for these trucks. That's the intro to the trucks. Let's get them side by side and see what they'll do. I'll let you count it.
Yeah, it makes a little bit of noise. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Oh. Oh, that's embarrassing. <laughs> You're fine. <laughs> All right, well, we know it'll launch in reverse now. <laughs> or like uh, do a burnout or something. Okay. gotta stay in the video uh, I'm embarrassed I did a boosted launch in reverse so definitely a first for Gramps a first for me good to know we can launch in reverse anyway that was a lot of fun we're headed back we're gonna get uh, Dusty and Aaron in the truck take him for a quick ride and then we'll head back to the house I got a, a couple of things I want to discuss with you guys there I appreciate um, Dusty uh, reaching out and offering to let us beat on his 10th gen just a little bit uh, for science of course Let's take those two guys for a ride and see what they think. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Huge thank you again to Dusty for letting us beat on his truck a little bit and Aaron for coming out for shooting some pictures and video. Be sure you follow Aaron. Uh, I'll put his Instagram on the screen here. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video with Gramps. And do you have a name for your truck? I, I, I got nothing. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> I'm sorry. Man. All right. Well, anyway, we're going to head back to the house. I got a couple things to show you before I end the video. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you back at the house. We are back at the house now. I uh, just finished updating my SET X4 tuner and that took about half an hour. So I jumped on Instagram live 
and just kind of talked about a bunch of stuff about grandpa truck so if you don't follow me on instagram it is auto detour on instagram i go on there occasionally and just kind of just hang out with you guys and answer questions and see what's going on and give updates but uh i got a couple things for you we're gonna load the new tune that i just got from casey whitmer be sure to go check him out on facebook if you're wanting custom tune done for your truck uh he has just been phenomenal obviously gramps is still living at 10 psi uh, since thanksgiving of last year and just continues to take the beating so that says a lot about his tune and i'm super happy with it before we jump to that I want to uh, mention that if you guys are like me and you've been either fixing or uh, you know just dealing with busted key fobs, uh, this one, holy moly, because of that. So this is the factory key fob from 2003 and it has been JB welded over and over again through the years between my brother and myself. Uh, and then come to find out you can get brand new just the case with the rubber buttons off Amazon for I think it's seven bucks for a set of two I've already put the other one on my keys here you just take the guts out of your existing key fob put them right in this one and you're on your way I don't know what I was doing fixing this thing when these 350 each seven dollars for the set of two it's crazy so anyway, I'll put a link to those down below. I was pretty excited to find that. Uh, so now next time they break, literally just a few bucks to put a new one on there. So I got this one now to go put on my other key fob. Check it out if you want to. We're gonna hop over here to the computer. Casey sent me the closed loop file. So basically we're loading on the closed loop tune to activate the primary O2 sensors. They have been shut off this entire time. That'll help the idle quality, should help with uh, fuel efficiency as well because obviously I mean that's what we're going for here <laughs> actually last time I filled up I had some cruising around town you know freeway time along with shooting some video which is when I'm shooting video I'm not very nice to the truck uh, I got 14 miles a gallon like that's crazy I'm pretty sure that's better than I used to get it appears in this available tunes box we're gonna Hit this little arrow button to transfer it over. Then we're going to program it onto the controller. There we go. So now the tune's on the SCT device. So now we'll take the tuner into the truck, hook it up to the OBD2 port, and load the custom tune onto the stock ECU. So, yes, I'm using, we're just flashing the stock ECU. We aren't using piggyback anything or a standalone. And then we'll plug this in into the OBD2 port down here. Yep, program vehicle saying never use this on the street, which I would never do that. It's asking us to turn the key on. So we're gonna select our one closed loop file. Off. There we go. It's loading the tune onto the truck. Dash is doing all its crazy stuff. My loud fuel pump is gonna run constantly while it's doing this. All right, there we go, it's done. Oh, and we just turned we just turned 110,000 miles on my last trip out in Gramps. Well, starting to get up there. All right, well, the new tune's on the truck. Now the O2 sensors are active. So now we're just gonna have to go drive it, see how it does. And Casey said, once we get that loaded on there, we'll do some data logging and really get the startup, the idle, and we'll really get that tune dialed in now that now that the o2 sensors are active um, and just make sure everything's good to go from there so a huge thank you to casey for for uh, all his hard work with tuning gramps he's running awesome that is gonna do it for tonight's video i appreciate all of you guys tuning in to watch uh, thanks for everyone that joined me on instagram live just a little bit ago 
uh, that's a lot of fun. I'm gonna try to do that more. Probably do some do some YouTube live too. Uh, I haven't done any of that yet. Tell me what you guys think. Should I be doing some YouTube live videos? Would you guys enjoy that? And tell me what else you want to see on the channel. Uh, Eric hopped on to the Instagram live and said Rock Falls is now open, which is a drag strip about an hour from the house. So sounds like it's time to have a little bit of fun this summer. So uh, while you're here, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. I really appreciate you guys watching. Have a great night. Stay safe out there. We'll talk to you next time.